All right, everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about taking the derivative of logarithmic functions, specifically the natural log of x, ln of x. So in this video, I'm going to just give you the derivative rule and then walk through the proof. If you're more interested in the examples, you could head over to those videos, but this video is dedicated to the proof of this rule. Lots of our derivative rules have really long, nasty proofs that I haven't taken the time to make my own video of yet, but I really like this proof because I just think there's some elegance to it and it uses some cool techniques. So I'm gonna show you how we get this derivative using this particular method. Okay, so let's start with how the derivative works, the derivative rule. So the derivative of f of x equals natural log of x is f prime of x equals one over x. So the derivative of natural log is one over x. All right, so for the proof, we're gonna start with f of x equals ln of x. We're gonna manipulate this a little bit and then take the derivative in order to find f prime of x. So what we're going to do first is something called exponentiation. You might have used this when you're solving exponential or logarithmic equations, but basically we choose something as the base of an exponent. I'm gonna choose e, and we make the existing equality into the exponent. So I'm gonna do e to the f of x equals e to the natural log of x. This is like dividing both sides by something or adding the same thing to both sides. We're just making e the base of an exponent on both sides. So I have e to the f of x equals e to the natural log of x. So e to the natural log of x is just x. This is because e and natural log are inverses of each other, so they sort of undo one another. Then I'll leave e to the f of x on the left-hand side. Now I'm gonna take the derivative of both sides since I can take the derivative of e to the f of x and I can take the derivative of x. The derivative of x is pretty straightforward, it's just one, so let's put that in. And then for e to the f of x, we're going to use chain rule. So e to the something is the outside function, f is the inside function, so I write e to the f of x, that's its own derivative, times the derivative of the inside function, f prime of x. Now remember, f prime is what I'm trying to find. I have f of x equals ln of x, I'm trying to find its derivative, f prime. So we're gonna solve for f prime here. I'll divide both sides by e to the f of x. And then if you remember from the beginning, f of x is equal to natural log of x, that's what we started with. So I really have one over e to the natural log of x. And we already discussed this, but e to the natural log is just x. So I'm left with one over x. This means that f prime of x is equal to one over x. All right, that's our proof for the derivative of natural log. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.